To understand Juneteenth, we first go back to January 1st, 1863, the day President Abraham Lincoln, with one proclamation, orders and declares that all persons held as slaves shall be free. We were still in the midst of the Civil War, but the president, the legal president at the time, says slavery is, has ended. And uh, so it depended uh, whoever won that war, if the North, if the Union forces win the war, they can enforce it. It would take, however, more than two years for word of the Emancipation Proclamation to reach the enslaved in Texas. People are saying that the messenger that they sent was killed. I've heard that the uh, plantation owners got the word but didn't want to pass it on because they wanted to retain that labor. And then I've also heard where Union forces made a deal with some of these plantation owners and said, hey, we'll let you reap one more harvest. On June 19, 1865, Union General Gordon Granger announced from this balcony in Galveston, Texas, that the Civil War had ended and the nearly quarter million enslaved were now free, again two and a half years after the proclamation. Rodney Dawson says there weren't enough Union soldiers in Texas before Granger's arrival to enforce the order. Following Granger's announcement, many of the enslaved left the state to be with the rest of their families, taking a dangerous walk to get there. Dawson refers to that as a faith walk and likens it to what we are seeing today with folks protesting against racial injustice. That's kind of, you see the marches that we have, you see the movements that's galvanized, not just African Americans, but people of all, the entire demographic. We're taking that faith walk and that's what Juneteenth means. Juneteenth, June 19th is a celebration from slavery to freedom. But Dawson says he hopes people will take the day to learn that many African Americans still don't feel free. I hope people are educated. Uh, I hope people come. I hope it brings tolerance. I hope it brings, it inspires someone.